welcome to the Kathleen Spracklin Podcast. I am a woman on a mission to gather a cadre of writers, thinkers, and teachers who are transforming the world one character at a time. And it all starts with one thing, a deep understanding of human motivation, why people do what they do, and the forces that drive them. And someday I'm going to get back to podcasting about that very topic. But I'm still working on the Zettelkasten because you are telling me by your comments and your emails that this is really valuable for you. So therefore, I'm sticking with it for a little longer. Well, today I want to talk about the value of having a Zettelkasten in terms of being able to take advantage of work that you've already done and not losing the work that you've done in the past so that you can use it again and pick up with that as your starting point. It's a tremendous work saving potential in your Zettelkasten and I ran into it today uh, in, in a real live example. So I thought, why not? Why not show you a real live example of this very thing going on? See you over in the down facing camera. Okay, as many of you know, I am working on a course in the Zettelkasten that will cover the whole topic in a logical manner and yet provide a lot of uh, options and variability depending on where you want to go with your Zettelkasten. And if you want to stay abreast of what's going on, you can sign up to be on my mailing list on my website at zk-dreams. Well. I'm not advertising my course here, but I'm talking. Want to talk a little bit about what I discovered in my own Zettelkasten, and what I want to share with you about workflow and how having a Zettelkasten can help save you a lot of effort and work. So I'm working in this one particular lesson. So I'm going to zero in on that lesson. Okay, so I'm, the lesson that I'm preparing is on the bib card, and it's this, uh, the course will include how to work with a bib card, but I'm working on the specific section here called the amazing array of bib card types. So I always, this course is going to include being able to see the lesson material from many different perspectives including being able to have the lesson in PDF form for people who would rather read the lesson. And then I'm just going to have it section by section by section by section in separate modules. And then there's going to be a combined module that just briskly runs through everything that's covered in the individual ones so that you can get an overview quickly and then zero in on what sections you want to follow. But in particular, what, where I like to start is with the PDF file, the lesson in essay form, because if I write it out in essay form, then I find just the act of having done that will, it, it will give me enough uh, clarity and smoothness that I don't have to write out a script for the other two videos. So I launched into it and I just barely got started here in writing and it dawned on me, wait a minute, I've done this at one point in the past. So it's time for me to pull out that past work and take good advantage of it. I've shown you my author box before. And I've mentioned before that I have a card for myself. So here's my card. And lo and behold, one of the very first entries on my card was my bib card talk. So now I want to go to my bib cards and pull this bib card, this bib card out. So here's the bib card from that talk, and I can see that it was on June 12, 2023, so a little over a year ago. And the star tells me that there's information on the back of the card. And indeed, 
here on the back of the card are all of the notes that I made on yellow legal pad leading up to my talk. I know I've shown you this in the past. This is a specific type of a bib card. This is a project bib card. And these are my journals, which for me are yellow legal pads these days. And all of the locations in the journal where I have written uh, information that went into that talk. So now I want to pull this journal R.D09. Here it is. I keep my back journals in these vinyl folders to keep them tidy so that they don't get all wrinkled and crinkled. If not, if I don't do that, these bottom edges curl up something fierce. But this nice little envelope here that I can tuck them into keeps them fresh as a daisy. This journal goes back to May of 2023 through June of 2023. And look at it. It's as fresh as if it were a brand new pad of paper. So now I'm going to turn to page 23C, 24D, and 25H for this first thing, which is on types of bib cards. And here's the beginning of the section. Here's some more. And some more. And on it goes. I have my all of these pages and all of this past work is immediately accessible to me just because I kept a project card for a talk. A talk is a fleeting thing. You speak it and it's gone. But I have all of my notes that I use to develop the talk on the legal pad, tracked, where it can save me a whole bunch of time right now when I'm building a new course to share with you guys. So that means the only thing I'm going to have to do fresh are some additional types of bib cards that I've recently uh, begun to use, like the bib card of an experience that I introduced to you a while back. So there will be a few to add, but a huge amount of the work is already done. And that's something that I want to encourage you to track your work, keep your journals, mark in your journals where you logged the uh, information so that what you put in your journals even years later is not lost to you. It's immediately available to you for your future work. So I hope you enjoyed this little real world example of how a Zettel casting can benefit you in a very direct way. It can save you as much time or more than it takes to create it. And that is pretty amazing because I've told you already, it also gives you more energy than it takes to, to create it. And now, whoa, it gives you back more time than it takes to create it. How can you beat that? It's almost like a violation of the laws of conservation of matter and energy. It's like a perpetual motion machine. Don't want to miss out on that one. Start your Zettelkasten today. If you sign up for that list that I told you about, on my website, KathleenSprockland.com, Zettelkasten Dreams, if you sign up for that list, not only will you get notified of progress on the course as it goes along, but you'll also get an organized list of all of my videos by topic so that you can watch them in an organized manner uh, while you're waiting for the course. Thank you. Bye-bye.